A couple days ago in one of my vlogs, which you can see right here, I asked the question, why are the Q&A videos so big on YouTube? Why do people care? I mean, I got nothing against it. It just seems kind of interesting. So I asked you guys if you had any questions for me, just to see how one of these videos would go for us. And here are the answers to your questions. Twitter question. Which single youth ministry moment do you wish you could take back? You know, I'm not sure. About 10 years ago, 11 years ago, I was working at a church in Virginia and I parked underneath the basketball hoop that they had, the church had out in the parking lot. And I was just driving this really small Geo Metro car and some kids came in and said, hey Tim, want to play basketball? Do you mind moving your car? And I was like, no, I'll be out in a minute. Just give me a second and I'll be out. Well, I took like a couple minutes and by the time I went out there to move the car, uh, no lie, there's like a kid in each corner of my Geo Metro. My wheels are up off the ground and they're literally moving my car for me. <laughs> I yelled, I was like, guys, what are you doing? Put my car down. They look at me, they're like, okay. And they dropped it and went boom, <laughs> you know? It's like, oh man, my my socks are ruined. <laughs> I was like, guys, I'm coming. I'll just move it for you. But um, next time, I wish I probably won't park underneath basketball hoops in the parking lot at the church. At least if I have a small car like that. Twitter question: Can you make this face? Uh, no, no, I can't. <laughs> Can you? Video response, man. YouTube question. So how did you end up in Minnesota? I grew up in Pennsylvania, my wife grew up in Texas, and when I moved to Texas to go to grad school, we started hanging out, started dating, eventually got married, and I was just working a part-time job. The guy I was working with at my church, I came to a church here in Minnesota as an as a associate pastor, and uh, eventually, make a long story short, I ended up at that same church, and uh, we moved here to Minnesota to become youth pastor at the church that uh, I served at for four years. Twitter question. What topics are appropriate to cover in a dating relationship series at Youth Group? Is there anything that's too taboo? Actually, yes. Never ask the kids details about their conception. <laughs> but in all honesty, as long as you have the approval and the permission of your supervisor and the parents know what's going on, you can probably talk about anything and be fine. As long as you don't do it like crudely or just make fun of it or something like that. Facebook question. This one's for my little brother and he says, are you sad that I'm better than you in air hockey? Uh, Mark, no, I'm, oh, another question? Are you sad your brother is better than you in air hockey? No, no, I'm not, because see, I am better than him. Trust me, he is. <laughs> That's not funny. Seriously, Tim, your brother is better than you in air hockey? Wow. No, okay guys, this is getting a lot of control. He's not better than me at air hockey, just likes to think he is. Haha, <laughs> yes I am, and Tim is gonna hate me. Dude, I don't hate you, but it's probably due to all the chick flicks he's been watching lately, or so I've heard. Oh well, can't wait to see the video answered. Well, Deb, here you go. And Mark, the next time I have 50 cents and we're at an arcade, you and I are gonna have a rematch, and I'm going to pwn you, but I don't hate you, personally. Facebook question. This question is kind of long. I gotta read it to make sure I don't screw it up. If you could retake any college slash seminary class and pay more attention than you did the first time, what class would you pick and why? Not implying you're a non-paying -pay attention slacker or anything. <laughs> right. I would probably retake my college counseling classes. Not that I didn't pay attention to them, I really did, but those classes are just so jam-packed with lots of good information. Stuff I still use on a, almost a daily basis every day, just with working with people. So um, yeah, I'd probably go back and retake the counseling classes just because they were so helpful. If you guys have any questions for me that you'd like me to answer in case we do another one of these videos again, here's all my contact info right here. Uh, contact me on Facebook, on Twitter, or on YouTube here, and let me know what you guys want to know. And if you don't subscribe to me on YouTube, you make sure you hit the little subscribe button above this video, and that'll just keep you updated all the new videos and stuff I'm posting here as I put them up. So subscribe and comment below, and thumbs up would be appreciated. Thank you. What do you think about these Q&A videos? Do you like them? No? Let me know. Comments. You know. Thanks. Yeah. Bye.